Howdy folks, Pilgrim here. Folks, I apologize firstly for the dismal color of the screen here on this video. I mean, it's cloudy outside, I got a failing light bulb, and so on and so on. But, The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. That's the first thing. All right, I wish God's blessing upon you and his peace upon you. Because in times like these, we need it more than ever before. Now, folks, I don't want to get into discussions about uh, gifts of the Spirit and things like that because people argue over those and so on. But uh, And I know how nutty this might sound to some people, but I'm just going to give it to you straight. Um, a lot of the things that are now happening, specifically two of them, I was told about uh, by God uh, in 2009 and 2010. Actually, 2008 and 2010. And we know where they're going. Um, I've just spent uh, two days in utter depression and darkness, uh, even over the Sabbath, because of the things that happened in Paris. Because I know Paris very well. And, um, you know, I was given a, a vision... A, I've had about 40 throughout my entire lifetime. I'm not embarrassed to say that, because God's work is God's work. I've always insisted that everything that God's Word says must agree with Scripture. If not, I tend to th throw it out. But um, in 2010, I believe, I mean, I'm just looking on my screen, yeah, in October 2010, I was given a vision, and it was the only one I've ever had in my life that mentioned, that named a year, a specific year, and a specific year, a specific year, I'm losing my ability to speak, it named a specific year, and that year was 2015. It described everything, everything that is now happening, right now, that happened in Paris, and that is going to happen in the United States, all right? I'm going to provide a link to that video because when people ask for hardcore evidence, the only evidence I can give to them, hardcore proof, is the link to the video that I made and say, look at the date below the video, when the video was uploaded. Look at the date. It's the only hardcore evidence that I can give you. Look at the dates, please, and understand that I spoke ahead of time, years ahead of time, what is now happening. It was the only one that mentioned a year and said to me, in this year, in the, in the year 2015, this will happen. Um, you know, before that, I had one called the Dark Horse, which described the coming down of the U.S.-Mexican border. That happened in March of 2015. Again, I'm going to provide a link below this video here on YouTube. Look at the date, please. Look at the date below the video. Because even by scriptural standards, God says, if somebody comes to you and says such and such will happen, or God told me this and God told me that, and such a thing doesn't happen, then take that prophet outside and stone it. Now, I don't say that I'm a prophet, but, you know, I'm, I'm saying that God's Holy Spirit has been awakening a lot of us in these last days and telling us a lot of things that are gonna that will happen ahead of time and here I have hard proof all right a lot of more than two you know five or six you know uh, have been I've just been seeing them materialize and happen right in front of my eyes for the last number of years since 2008 especially concerning Israel and all of this surrounds Israel but these two I want you to see and check out. Most of all, I want you to watch a video that I'm going to post, and it's called The Forced Collective Suicide of European Nations. Please, I beg you, please watch that video. Brace yourselves when you watch that video, because that is what is coming here. And that's what threw me into a depression when I saw what happened in Paris. Because I'll tell you the truth. I honestly didn't think I was going to live to see this year. I was hoping I wouldn't. 
you know, back in 2010, and I made a lot of videos at that time, I didn't think I was going to live to see these things happen. I thought maybe I'd be gone before then. And it threw me into a massive depression um, when I started seeing these things. And I saw the U.S.-Mexican border come down, which I spoke of in 2008, um, 2009. And then I saw Paris happen, and I realized, you know, I hear the reports uh, that Obama is letting letting in something like 60,000 of these same people into the United States. Uh, or is it 140,000? I can't remember. A huge amount. And then the FBI came out with a statement saying, ISIS is now in all 50 states. Watch this video. It's called With Open Gates, the Forced Collective, uh, Forced Collective Suicide of European Nations. Watch this video and understand that that is what is going to come here. You know, because these nations will be forced to their knees. God returns measure for measure to all of his enemies. What we do against Israel is done to us. What is now happening in Europe Israel has lived with every day of their lives for the last 70 years while these Western nations have ignored. Now, a week and a half or so, uh, a week and a half ago or so, 136 countries voted to divide and split the city of Jerusalem and the land of Israel. And as God returns measure for measure to his enemies, the terror that has been vested upon Israel is now being invested upon all those nations. That's what's happening. Okay? But it's a chance for the people of those nations to repent and turn to him because the end is marching towards us at breakneck speed. Please make sure you watch this video and understand what's happening. Check out the two videos. If you don't have time to watch the two videos below uh, of the visions I mentioned, please just check the dates and know what is being spoken to you. Um... Like I say, I fell into a depression, and uh, something very, very strange happened to me on Sunday morning. Uh, and I was woken up at about 3 o'clock in the morning. And um, and this is on a kind of the same subject, but I don't know. How do I actually, I told you this was going to sound nutty. Um, I woke up and uh, I was. I, I had, there's a really beautiful Israeli song which I heard recently being sung. Uh, it's called Shalom Aleichem, but it's sung by a male singer uh, and with traditional instruments. But the song is so beautiful. It, it's so beautifully sung. And I fell asleep that night and on Sunday night, a couple of nights ago, and I don't know why, but this song was being played over and over again in my head. And uh, I just woke up at about 3 in the morning with a song in my head. And I saw the imagery of the video. I'll put a link to that below this uh, video here on YouTube as well. But as I was looking at these images, I saw at the end of the street, uh, one of the scenes in the video, this gold light. And it was the light of Christ. I mean, just God was showing me that he was with his people. It was very, very strange, and it's not a dream. It's not some subconscious thing. I'm not one of these people who say, I have a dream, I have a dream, I hate all that. I was being shown something, and I heard this language being sung. And um, uh, it sounded like Chinese, but it wasn't. It was not quite. It was another language, and I began to understand through my thick Irish skull that this was not an earthly language I was hearing. It was very, it was very beautiful. But the way it was being sung by this woman was just so amazing. And, and it, it, you know, and it moved me and I desired to know what it was singing. And so a translation came in, a male voice started singing um, afterwards. And I gotta tell you, it was the most beautiful song that I ever heard in my life. And and I tried to remember. Sorry, 
I'm trying to remember this song. It feels so beautiful. I've never heard anything like it in my life. It was a song of love. And I've never heard anything so beautiful in my life. And, um, you know, it's, it, it pushed back all the fears and the darkness and everything. I knew that I was listening to angelic languages and it was being translated for me. And I realized that these songs are being sung in heaven all the time. And it was so beautiful. I tried to remember the words of the song. And I don't think I was permitted to do so. Because soon, as soon as I started trying to remember, you know, it was cut off and also released back into this world. But the only line that I can remember was the last line that I heard, which was, Jerusalem, come back to the light. And, you know, it was in response to all of this fear and all of this darkness, all the stuff that I know is coming. And, uh, you know, my friend Kimberly Dawn in the, in the ministry that I'm engaged in right now, um, she said something very profound. And I don't think she knew what she was saying. She, she spoke of praise being our weapons of warfare against everything and this is something I had forgotten long ago um, that the Bible literally teaches that praise itself pushes back the darkness I'm looking online right now for where this phrase is that she used but it struck me I don't think she knows what she said um, because when you're in the spirit when you're in the heavenlies you see things happen. We think it's just words. We think prayers are just words that we offer and thoughts in our hearts. We don't see what they accomplish in the heavenlies. Real warfare actually breaks out and takes ha and takes place because God has placed much upon our shoulders as human beings because he created us in God's image. And I can't explain how all that works. What she said was, praise is our secret weapon in all battles. She doesn't know how literal it was how literal the truth is of what she said is. And I, I can't explain what I mean, but I was there. I know it wasn't something from my head. I was taken to another place. I was shown things. And this song broke out uh, among the angels and they were just singing and singing. And I'm not some, you know, Pentecostal madman. Sorry if any of you are Pentecostal. It's not an insult, but get over it, you know, you know there's some bad apples that have created that impression but I'm just saying in the days ahead some dark things are going to happen and praise is our secret weapon in all battles, God is going to carry us through, as God returns measure for measure to his enemies that have done this to his to the apple of his eye. He's going to protect you and give you what you need through those times. How do we know this? Because he's returning measure for measure to his enemies. And you are not his enemies. Throw yourselves at the feet of Christ. Now, more than you've ever done before. Because we're at the time. We're three years away from the end of this generation. Mentioned in the Genesis timeline prophecies. Which I have shared with you time and time again. And I will share them with you again in the future to those who don't know what I'm talking about. But throw yourselves, please, at the feet of Christ because we're running out of time to do so. The King and His Kingdom is coming. God bless you.